times. Bruh, how come that one worked? What's up, everyone? Oh my, is that Lois in chat? What's up, man? So I missed last stream? Oh no, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. Doing good. Uh, dude, this whole campaign thing is stressing me out man we're currently at fourth place right now What's up, man? Yeah, I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for more people to show up before I start doing this matchup chart. This is honestly my first time ever doing one. next major uh i go to rise and grind in like two weeks i think that's in texas um i don't know if i should just if i should just base this off plus twos and plus ones or just go winning even losing and that'd be much easier what do you guys think don't think we need the 6040s and 5545s how do I delete columns is that even possible For now, we're just gonna do those three tiers. For now, we'll do we'll do those, and if I change my mind, I'll like start, I'll switch it up. I'll like add more tiers as we go. But for now, these are like the only only ones right now. Rayon, what's up, man? I didn't see that fire. Nice. You look tired? Dude. I'm always tired.
too tired from work. I see. Hope everything's been good, though, bro. Uh, let me turn up my mic sensitivity real quick. It's a little too low now. Alright. Uh, before I start, those who want to vote for me, please do so. I'm in fucking major need of assistance. Hold on, let me like... It's because my mic's kind of far away. Well, I'll put it closer to me. But yeah. If you haven't voted for me and you want to, you know, go down, vote for me. I would really appreciate it. I need all the help I can get. And yeah. Um. Let's. Let's just start, no? I'm just gonna go uh, down an order from like an alphabetical order. I don't really care to like pick and choose. Need to call Casey Army to vote. I've been trying to. <laughs> okay, so I guess first one is Banjo. I'll just put him in winning for now. I think Banjo is just a bad character and uh, he doesn't really have anything to really contest Mario. His grenade that he pulls out, it's, you can literally flood him from getting it and you can also just cape it. And same thing with his neutral B. You could just... Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of them later. Uh, you can just cape it. His side B is the only thing that's like invincible, I guess. But yeah, he definitely gets overwhelmed very easily. Like, like someone said in chat, like his, his frame dad is really bad. The only thing that he has, I would say in this matchup, is his two frame and his nair which is basically just edge guarding but everybody can edge guard mario in some way um next one's bayo i am historically bad at this matchup but i still think that this matchup is not as bad as i as i think it is uh bayo has a lot of ways to really just run away from Mario and sometimes it's really hard to just I guess kind of like catch to her or catch up to her um yeah she has a lot of ways to kind of like mix around uh, Mario's like shield like if she wanted to like just up B side B uh jump air dodge back to platform like all those basically Mari just kind of has to read the bail on what she's doing to really like get into her and also like edge guarding here is impossible like no matter what flooding it's just like there's no point because she she'll, she'll always have a triple jump and also i don't think she's forced to air dodge out of a lot of mario's like options because she doesn't really have anything that that escapes it besides air dodge and if you just like either wait for it or you're just expecting it then it's pretty much over for her. once you're in you're kind of in yeah her, her bats within is is really good because she gets out a lot of stuff that she shouldn't be getting out of or that like any other character would get out of hey that's even because i'm bad at it no literally i'm bad at it too but i just don't think it's as is as bad as I really think it is. Like, I'm trying to be like. Not as biased as possible. You know what I mean? Uh, Bowser. This is just winning. Uh, Bowser really doesn't have anything. It's literally the same thing as like. Any other heavy, once you're in, you're in, and there's no, like, going back.
Like that character is just Yeah, you're fucked. Um I think Bowser can really just up you out of shield and it, <clears throat> like most of Mario's pressure. But even then, like Mario does not have to commit at all. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, straight to the point, in my opinion. Bowser Jr., I also think, is winning. Uh, the character just sucks, or just sucks, in my opinion. Um, Bowser Jr. doesn't really have, like, any options as to... Um, Uh, what, what's the word? He can't really like zone out Mario and I think that's really key to if your character beats him. I feel like his neutral can really mess you up. His neutral sucks in, in my opinion. Like you could just flood his character and then keep him at the keep up in the air and then he's forced to side you back on stage and it's a free punish every time. Even if he's the even if he's in the air and he's trying to come down to towards stage, you can literally block anything he does, up you out of shield it or grab or something like that. And then even if he like air dodges or nares, anything else, parry it or just shield it in general, and anything's punish punishable. I really don't think Bowser Jr. has anything like an advantage for Mario other than like I guess juggling him in some shape or form. Um, Byleth. I'm going to put this in even. I think Byleth's, Byleth's toolkit really kind of messes with Mario. I think what what doesn't put her in losing for me is how slow Byleth actually is and how easy it is to catch up to her. There's pretty much another thing. You can grab her Nair or um, even just up you out of shield it. You can really just flood her to or flood him. Flood Byleth <laughs> uh, to, make her re to make them reposition. And yeah, I will say though, fair and bear are really annoying to deal with and trying to get into that is a pain. But if you really utilize flood and how you play around like mid range, then yeah, I would see this is just even. It is a annoying matchup to play. I will say that though. And also, like, trying to edge guard this character is also just scary because she, she doesn't really have. Or Mario doesn't have, like, downward hitboxes to the point where you could just, like, edge guard him that way. Like, you have to commit to, like, a nair or, like, a runoff back air. And even then, it's because it's because Violet has up B, that is just fucking, like,. <laughs> it's scary because then you just you just get reversaled. But I really have to like you have to close the gap versus this character and using flood or baiting out all all the fair spaces is just how you do it. And also fireball. I think fireball is broken in this matchup. But not like running in with fireball, you know what I mean? I mean I guess you could but I think Byleth can really just like play around it, as all characters can. Um, can we remove echoes. All right, sure. Falcon, 
This is just really bad for Falcon. I feel really bad playing this matchup. Uh, Falcon doesn't really have anything that that messes Mario up, except for keeping him up in the air. Uh, same thing. Uh, it is really just free to rush in versus his character, and Edge Guardian is also easier. The only thing that you have to worry about Edge Guardian is his up B. Because if you like mistime your back air or something like that, he actually just grabs you with him as he's getting hit and you kind of just get dragged down. Um, I think two framing this character is kind of difficult. It kind of just depends on the angle he's at. Like, you can really get a down tilt pretty much for free. Do like down tilt into raw back air or pretty much anything you want in that point. Uh, Krom is winning. Uh, character's really fast, but he really doesn't have that much range to really zone out Mario really well. And also his recovery is just dead every time. Blood really destroys it. You get flood, you can S smash it, you can dash attack. You can literally do anything. You can even grab his up B. And even then, like you're just dead. If you grab his up B somehow, or if, like you're really good and you grab it, you can force him to DI out with his fourth throw. Or if he DIs it the other way. You can just down throw war back at him and he's dead that way too. But most of the time, Flood is just always the answer. Uh, like I said, he's dead every time from it. Even like the slightest amount of Flood can really just push him out. Um, I'll say Cloud is losing. It's a very hard matchup with how fast and how strong Cloud's aerials are. And it's just really annoying to really like deal with it. The only thing Mario has is he can up be out of shield a lot of what he does, except for like a fully spaced like fair or bear. Like you really have to rely on Cloud's miss spacing. And also, getting juggled by this character is so obnoxious. Like, there's there's not a way down. I mean, yeah, Mario has combos on everyone. But it's just a matter of trying to get in to Cloud. To like actually be able to do those combos. Yeah, no. The way I like like play versus this character is I play really patient. Like you cannot lose. You basically cannot give up going in. Or like not going in, I mean. And yeah, Edge Guardian is hard too. Like Flood is good, but a cloud will always save his jump. Uh, Corrin, I'll put this at even. Corrin has a lot of range and a lot of moves to which Mario can't really punish. But it's the same thing with Byleth, in my opinion. That, like, she's kind of slow. And just getting into her, or getting to her, is very, it's like a much easier time than someone like Cloud. So far, Mario's a mid tier off this chart. True. A humble mid tier character. Oops. But yeah, I'll put Coronite even for now. If anything, I think Mario like slightly wins. But it could go either way, in my opinion. Daisy? Why is Daisy here but not Peach? 
Can we can we talk about that? Peach, I would say, is also even. Actually. Fuck, this is where I would make a tier. I would put this in Slight Mario. Actually, no, that, that's all I'll do. I'm going to put Mario just in winning no matter what. I think Slight or even, I think Mario wins this. Due to the fact that how floaty she is and how you can just really keep her in the air. Uh... She can also, or Mario can also just up you out of shield a lot of what Peach does. Okay, no, I changed my mind. It's 50 50. I think this would go either way. Pretty much. You hit her and she's dead, or she hits you and you're dead. That is pretty much the matchup. I think getting juggled. I think Mar just wins the juggle battle for free. Uh, she doesn't really have anything besides like dropping down down air, which you could just wait for. It. And same thing with air dodge. And also her turn ups off stage are kind of okay because you could just pretty much cape them every time she um, throws them. However, if she throws them like straight like downwards on top of your head, then that's pretty much you just can't, can't you can't cape it at all. You can actually uh, two frame F smash or four smash uh, Peach's up B, which is a plus in that matchup for Mario. It gives him another way to like kill. Guys, <laughs> I'm going in alphabetical order. I'm I'm ignoring every other character until I get to them. Uh Pit. I uh, that's just winning in my opinion. Uh, Pit really only has spacing with like a forward air, but hitting this character is just so very easy in my opinion. And also her jumps are like hella slow. So if you're like getting edge guard you can really just tell what the pit's going for and also her up back to stage is really bad you can do whatever you want you can you can literally run off fair if you wanted you can run off back air down till you can also smash it if you time it right, of course. And if she... And if you just... That's the thing. If she's just outspacing you, then you can just flood it. Like, just make a reposition. And then... Uh... Yeah, do you... She just repositions and then boom, now you have an advantage. Diddy Kong. Um, I just have mixed opinions about this. I think, I think it's an even matchup. Or if anything, like Slight Mario. Actually, I'll just put a Slight Mario. I think Mario can really just outbox Diddy Kong in a lot of ways. Uh, Banana's just really scared to deal with. 
even if you even if you can cape it, keeping it is such a committal option. Uh, you can fireball his up B from low. Um, his side B is actually really annoying to deal with. However, if you just react to it, you can up smash out of shield it if he like tries to like grab you with it. Um, Donkey Kong, it's just went in. <laughs> Again, it's a, just a character that's really bad. Uh, you get juggled for days. DK can up you out of like early combos, but if you're just expecting it, or if you're like not being greedy with your early combos that are, aren't true anyways at like zero, then it's pretty much just over for the DK. Uh, you can down to his up B back. Uh, you can cape it. Juggling him is for free. He doesn't have a, an option to really get away from it. Uh, Dr. Mario. Uh, this is just winning. This is literally just worse Mario. Like, le less spacing from Doc. Very slow. I don't know. This character is just not good. Um, I will say it's not like Mario completely destroys his character. I just think what, what Doc does, Mario just does better. Uh, duck hunt. I'll, I'll put it one in. Uh, frame one can is what he kind of has, and just dealing with his his gunmen is kind of annoying. But you don't really have to interact with gunmen a lot of the time because you just either run past it or like jump over it or just not interact with it at all. Uh, like I said, frame one can is the only thing he really does to like get out of combos. But they they stop working at like a certain percent because everything Mario just does at that point is just true. Also, you can't flood uh can, which is actually the the sad part. Because he could just like sit behind it. So that's kinda like rough. Oh you can fireball can and like it adds like damage to it. And then that way it just explodes like sooner. Uh, I think Falco is even. In my opinion. I think that character is really annoying to deal with. Uh, a fully spaced fair is just not punishable at all. Also, I found out Characters like Falco, when you down air on their shield, they can up smash the down air before the last hit even comes out. So they, they can up smash your mid down air on shield as it's going through. Also on on Mario, like let's say like Battlefield, uh, Falco really just he does as good as Mario does on Battlefield. Which is kind of annoying. 
And also, just like trying to catch this character because he'll, he'll like laser and it doesn't even matter if you cape it because like you're getting hit by another one. And even if you cape it, he just shields it. There's no point. Wins in Arctox, what's up? Um, I think Fox is also even. This is pretty much just a kind of a blowout between both characters. I talked to Light about this too. I think I'm pretty sure he said this is also even. And but he said if someone wins this, it's Fox. Uh, Mario or Fox really struggles with Fox's like like pressure he gets overwhelmed like easily mario can up you out of shield and kind of anti-air uh mario or fox with like up smashes and stuff like that but so most of the time he is just hella fast so it's kind of really really hard to like keep up with him uh you can actually abuse fox's recovery very easily a smash on up e works pretty much all the time if you're like timing it right. I'll just put like even ish, like both sides. Like, I can see a slight. Winning or losing from either of these characters. Uh, Ganon. Uh, this is pretty much. <laughs> this is a really bad matchup. It's literally just the same thing. Dude, there should just be a heavies tier list. Or heavies tier. Yeah, no. It's literally just Ganon. Uh, Greninja, I would put as winning. I don't really... The only thing that Greninja has is he's fast. So he can really just uh, run around Mario very well. But if Greninja commits, it's pretty much like Dunzo. He dash attacks on your shield. That's a free up smash or not be. Down tilt, same thing. Run him grab. Like, the only, that's the only thing he's going to... Get is a grab. He doesn't have really combos that get off the grab. God, I didn't even make this fucking. I oh, know. Yeah, hold on. Let me just do these slight tier lists because we're getting like mixed up. I don't think it's like hard winning. Uh, actually, no, I, I hate this set. I'll just put it evenish. It's like for sure Mario. Mario definitely wins it. Actually, no, this is my tier list. I hate you guys. Uh, hero. I think this is also winning. I, I don't think. The thing with Hero is his spells are actually no. I think this is huh? Alright, the only thing why I'm like hesitant about where to put him is because bounce actually plays such a huge role. Because then he could just start like throwing shit out. And Mario can't keep it back because Hero has bounce. 
And then it bounces off him, and then Mario gets hit, and, he, and then Mario dies. But, without bounce, this matchup becomes way easier. Like I said, you can reflect a lot of shit. You can keep him in the air. Uh, Hero doesn't have that much range. And his frame data is really slow. He has like... Up B out of shield, which actually is very fast. And it's also very safe. Um, I sees this is losing. I sees is very annoying. I think the way I sees work, any character that has to box with ice ice climbers just straight up loses. And Mario is a character that has to box with I sees. Yeah, you can't you can't grab the character you can't really flood the character you can't fireball the character or you can but like it's just a you're just losing you're losing time in which you could have just approached and lost already basically fireballing versus this character it's just like what's the point like straight up gets outboxed in every way. Uh, I, I think this is winning. Uh, same thing as like Krom. But like worse Krom. Like Flood destroys his character. Ike's really slow. His frame dead is slow. And it's just. Yeah it's a free matchup. Uh, I'm going to put Incineroar as winning. Uh, same thing with all heavies. Incineroar doesn't really have anything that goes well in this matchup for him. Aside from cheesing you at 40. <laughs> uh, he can... He can go off stage and like soft hit near me, but like it's still kind of bad. Like that's pretty much the only thing he has. Do you think I'll be first qualifying? Uh, honestly, it's looking like I won't be. But we're still trying our hearts out, guys. Go vote for me if you haven't already. Um, Inkling is winning as well, in my opinion. She's fast, but I think back hair destroys her. Like trying to trying to box out Mario is really hard if you don't have a like a long sword. Yeah, and also Inglin, yeah, that's a good point. He she has no out of shield. So you can do whatever you want to her on her shield and she can't do anything besides grab. Or like up smash, but I, that up smash is hella slow. I'm gonna put Isabel winning, and same thing with Villager. Uh, they're pretty much the same character, so I'm just gonna do that anyways. Um, they both are just protectable based characters that Mario can just cape. Uh, he can also keep their balloons. I don't know if that still works, but I'm pretty sure you can just keep their balloons and they, they just pop.
The only thing that Villager has is, like I said, Nair out of early combos. But that's the only thing. Like, just don't be greedy with your combos at early percentage. Like, Lord Rocket, you can reflect. Cut down tree, reflect it. Up E, you can reflect it. He, he pockets your fireball, he throws it out, you can reflect it. <laughs> you you can you can flood him. You can reflect his slingshot. You can reflect his bowling ball. Like the <laughs> This is pretty much it, it's bad. Joker I think is even. I think both characters do really well against each other. Um, Mario Edge Guardian Arsene Joker is really free. Dash tag, two frame, S smash, runoff bear. Like he's Joker is just stuck there for days. Um, I will say though, Joker has really good neutral game to the point where he can just kind of like play around uh, Mario really well. And Arsene counter actually destroys his recovery. And also, gun is really, um. Gun is really annoying to deal with. Yeah, and by keeping him off stage, yeah, that's a good point. You just waste his arsen. Um. Jigglypuff, I think it's winning. Jigglypuff does a fantastic job at Edge Guarding Mario. But that is the only thing. And if you just play like a far range from Puff and just keep at that range, you have Flood Charge, you have your back air ready. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like Puff has to run into you. And because a Puff is an air-based character, that's exactly what Mario wants. Because then you just get an up it for free. That converts into a combo. And then Puff's dead at like 40. But yeah, the, once you're off stage, this character is very scary to like come back versus. Because your up B is, your up B is so bad. Or like Mario's up B. Not from like in the startup range. But like... Trying to trade with it with like Nair, it's just you lose that trade every time and you just die. Uh, Kazuya is a losing matchup. This is... This is something else. <laughs> I will say that. This is exactly like trying to box ICs. Except you actually just die zero. Like you try to run into Kazuya, you're getting electric. Uh, you try to outspace Kazuya with the ba Mario back air, you're getting electric. Uh, Hell's Gate destroys Mario. You are dead at zero if you get Hell's Gate. Uh, if Mario gets in though, it's actually becomes a lot more easier because then he is just complete combo though you can combo this character forever how do you deal with those things what do you mean like Kazuya electric you have to Against Kazuya, when he's in the air, you actually have to keep him there. Like, Edge Guardian kind of doesn't work. Because he goes high, and you can't really, like, really catch up to him. He goes low, and you try to cape him. He gets his upbeat back when you cape him. That is... <laughs> that's bullshit. Yeah, no, he he does. It's exactly like how Sonic's up he is. 
You you can cape him and he gets it back. Yeah, and, and Mega Man. I don't know if that worked on Game Watch. It probably does. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I've never tried it. But yeah, this the character is just broken beyond belief. Ken, I think I think this is the is winning. Uh when disadvantage sucks uh for Ken because when he when he tries to down B, that's basically his main escape option. But Mario can just down air it. Like hella good. Up the out shield's really good. Uh because Ken likes to apply a lot of pressure. And Ken's not really like a spacing character. Also, same same thing with Ken. If you like cape his side B and he has no jump, he's dead. But he can like he can't side B back again. That's a vendetta. Yeah, flood's really good. Um, yeah, it's just disadvantage is just that bad for Ken. Can get can can get in, but it's really hard. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna speed run through the next two characters. DDD is just <laughs> is, he's huge. Like once you get in, you're dead. His Gordo uh lead trap really doesn't work because you have a lot of options to like get away from it but you can jump up fireball it you can drop down up air it you can time your your get ups no tag what's up man uh k roll <laughs> this is also really bad has nothing to really beat out mario uh you can cape his crown uh his snare is the only thing that's okay, both offstage and like trying to get out of combos. But he still takes percent from it, and that's just more percent to the actual true combos. But yeah, that's just a really bad matchup. Um, Kirby. This is a weird one, but I think Mario wins. And it's just, it's just, she's weird. Kirby can crouch under a lot of what, a lot of what Mario does, but landing back here is still just a really good option. Uh, Kirby has down tilt. Um, getting edge guard by this character is kind of rough, but she's just, she's like Puff. But a little bit faster. Yeah, you you don't really have to approach this character. Like Kirby basically just has to run into you. Unless you're playing like one of those Kirby's who will just not approach at all. Link, this is also winning, in my opinion. Uh, you reflect a lot of what he does. Link's snare is broken. Um, but it doesn't really get out of anything. Uh, just combo food. Edge guarding him is pretty easy. Flood works phenomenally. Uh, fireball. Yeah, Link is just isn't that great of a character. Little Mac. This, this is tricky. I'm going to put him right here. Because it's pretty much the same thing. You have to. You, you have to box with him. And trying to edge out his character. It's just like. 
like flooding is good. You say something with bear? No. Well, you can, but think about it this way: if you if you're trying to space with bear, you just he ducks under you while he's running. And he up smashes. So no matter what, if you hit him with a back air, he's gonna arm it through it and just up smash you. Like that is stupid. Uh, you can't really like dash attack him. It's really hard to. I think you can. But side B will just hit you every time. Uh, his up B is going to poke from under. Uh, he can super arm it with neutral B through your early combos as well. And it's still hard to like kind of bait it out because unless you like grab it. But that's a really committed option. um what's next lucario i just think this is winning lucario kind of sucks and he doesn't really have anything that that goes well with mario or against mario besides just straight up trying to cheese you lucario is mid-tier what did you have for breakfast today i i don't think this character is well or is good Um, Lucas is winning. What Lucas has in this matchup is uh, two frames for sure. Yeah, there's just like another character that isn't that good. But um I will say his fully spaced fair is actually really good in the matchup. But yeah, Mario kind of like destroys him with back air. Lucas doesn't have like out of shield options. And keeping this character up in the air is kind of annoying. Or for Lucas. It's annoying for Lucas. Like Lucas has like uh two frame F tilt, down smash, uh he can up E. He also like neutral B if he's like if he notices you don't have a jump. Uh he can go out and like like spike you. But that's pretty much it. Like Lucas has to put you in that position. But even then, like this character can't really like get into you without like when he's just straight up like holding forward versus you. Like Mario will win that every time. Blood is good versus Lucas. This is just a, another floaty character who you can like really easily keep in the air. Lucina, uh. This is tricky. I'm going to say losing. This is just a sorty long range. Uh, it's very hard to really get in versus the character. Um, down tilts are really good. Edge guarding is annoying. Juggling is annoying. This character just keeps you away from her at all times. You have to, I guess. Of course, um, keep flood charged. And you really just have to play the long game. Yeah, and she can up be out of early percent combos. But like I said, if you allow her to up be out of that, that's just you being greedy. Um, 
Luigi, I think it's went in. That's just another bad character. You you can really just bait out grab really well. And you can also just wait for this character. Flood Flood is really good in this matchup. Fireball is really good in this matchup. Uh you don't have to interact with Luigi at all. And Mario can just play whiff punish. And just completely destroy this character. Down B he can do. But it's it's really obvious when a Luigi player is gonna do it. And if you if you expect a down B out of every combo that he'll do, or that that will Mario do it on Luigi, if you expect a down B, that is a free punish every time, and most of the time Luigi will just be put in a bad situation. Marth, um, playing against someone who. Who really knows how to use super really well and can really space this would go and lose it getting tippered even just on shield you can't really like punish anything mark does you can flood to make her to make mark reposition but then what do you do afterwards like it's just a guessing game from there Like, this character just outstaces Mario really well. Um. Mega Man. This is kind of difficult. Uh, I'm thinking about putting it, like, even-ish. But I think if anyone wins, Mario wins. What Mega Man has is this matchup is just being very annoying with pellets. You can't really like cape it because you're only caping one of them. And even then, like one of the pellets will like flank with the other one you just caped and then a third one's going to hit you. Like trying to get in versus this character is really annoying, but it's not like impossible. You can't, you really can run it, just run into this character. Uh, Bear is really good versus this character, in my opinion. Uh, Bowen literally just said it. You can bear pellets, um, but you can't really like do anything out of that. Uh, this character has a smash out of shield and he has like kind of checkmate situations on stages that you like with platforms so let's say like small battlefield for example uh you get up aired uh on the small battlefield platform you're holding shield it's gonna shield poke you to where mega man can just up smash like out of it and you get you get hit by the up smash from your legs and that's just like kind of a checkmate situation but that works against all characters of course um it's just a stage that also mario likes so it's kind of like Difficult to avoid those stages as well. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I do think Mario wins his matchup. Uh, like I said, you can't really cable off stage because it gets his upbeat back. But you, you just have options that Mario can just keep up with Mega Man pretty much all the time. Uh, Ben and I, I just think this is winning. Um, character can't really outspace you that well. If he commits with like the dash tag, that's a free up smash every time, or an uppy imagination almost. Um, what else? Everybody with multi jumps like Meta Knight can really edge guard you, but that's really it. Uh, trying to juggle versus trying to juggle Mario as Meta Knight is kind of difficult because Mario's air drift is really good. And because of how short Mar or Meta Knight's like aerials are, you really had to like commit to one option. But yeah, this character, it's just another character where you could just like, kind of like run into him and nothing like really bad is going to happen to you besides just getting edge routed. 
But you can just play center stage and you can get away with a lot. Mewtwo, I think, is winning. Uh, this is pretty much... You don't really have to... Run into Mewtwo is actually not the greatest option. I think if you just play, like, if you just dash dance in mid-range and just play with back air, because <laughs> let's say, like, he runs away from you, his tail has a huge hurt box, and you're just going to hit his tail every time if you just land in bear. Um, me brawler. I think this is the way in. In my opinion. Um, he's fast, but it's just one of those characters. He's exactly like Mario, in my opinion. The only thing you really have to look out for is... <laughs> getting cheesed by fucking this up B because that's just gonna kill you. Uh, you can play with Punish on this character and it'll work most of the time. Uh, his command grab side B is actually really well, but it's reactable. You could just roll out of it. I'm sure Me Brothers main would love to disagree. Probably. I, I don't think, like I said, I don't think Mario destroys Me Brawler. I just think it's light, but Mario has an advantage over this matchup. Like I said, I'm not making like slight wins and slight losses because it's just, it's, you're still winning. You know what I mean? What website am I using for the chart? It's right here, bro. Um, Me Gunner is also just winning, in my opinion. Uh, Me, Me Gunner is a projectile based character. Mario has Cape, Mario has Flood. Uh, you can kind of just like run into Me, Me Gunner, so you can't really like, do much. Or me, me gunner can't really do much. Me sword fighter. This is just. <laughs> this kind of like sucks for me. Me sword fighter. Low range. Can't really like do anything. To really box with Mario. Because his sword is hella like small. Yeah, and he's slow, so like, wow. I think Min Min is losing. Uh, long range, and really annoying to deal with. Megawatt and neutral is so annoying. That all that pressure on shield, it's just you really cannot like run into him. The only thing that works is like jumping up into her, but then that is such a committal option because now you're vulnerable too. Like you really have to just bait Min Min a lot of the time. And Ram Ram destroys Mario offstage. Two frame. Uh, yeah, if you try to approach with fireball and neutral, you get up smash. Both with the fireball and yourself. But this is another character where if you get in on her, she, she can't really do... She doesn't have a lot to get you off of her. So once you're in, you're kind of in. But getting into her is like the really hard part. Um, damn, we're about to hit a lot of the losing matchups right now. I think Game Watch is also losing. That <laughs> everything Game Watch does is so annoying. Um, Nair is broken. Up out of shields broken. The invincible us smash. It's broken. Edge guarding, getting stuck in the air by up air. 
yeah, like you said, positive frame data. This character can literally in the name. He games you watch. Oh yeah, no, Marth and Lucina are like <laughs> they do just as well against Mario. It's it's actually insane. They're literally the same character, just in that matchup, in my opinion. Or like how they beat you, in my opinion. Uh Ness, I think, is winning. Um You kinda like use Flood and then Um Back here is really good versus Mario. Uh, but if you play to a point where like you you try to whiff punish fair because that's what a lot of like nest nest players do. If you just play outside the range and then just back air it, then you're pretty much okay. Edge guarding this character is really good, or not like edge guarding, but like you can like two frame nest a lot with like dash tag down tilt. You can S smash it still. You can cape his up B even though that's risky because you might get hit. Uh. But yeah, this character, Mario just has a lot of options for Ness. And I think that's why he does really well. Yeah, and Ness is light. Pac-Man? I think it's an even matchup. This character is kind of just annoying to deal with. Um, you can get rid of you can get rid of Hydrant very well, but then you can also he can also get rid of Hydrant very well. Um, he can edge guard you very well. He just doesn't have to approach, and you make Mario approach approach, and you just kind of just play his game. I think Mario has ways to deal with it. And to make him be in disadvantage, but Pac-Man can also do the same. Paul Luchana, I've always said this is losing. I think this matchup is really annoying. I think, however, personally, this is my best matchup. Whoa, shit. Um, back air is really annoying to deal with. It's invincible. If you try to like run under and up smash it, you get hit by the back air. Um, what works really well is up being out of shield uh, Paulo's Nair. Um, two framing Paulo is really easy. Uh, you can two frame it with Nair, back air. Sometimes you can get an S smash, but that's kind of like a hard timing. Uh, but yeah, once Paulo has the lead, it's kind of like Paulo just doesn't have to approach anymore, and then you kind of just play your game. Oh, there was Peach. What the fuck? What? So why was Daisy in here? Doesn't she count as an echo? Uh, Pichu, this is winning. Pichu is very light. Uh, has to run into you. He, she just dies way earlier. You can two frame a lot of what she does. You can cape her, her thunder jolt. Um, yeah, you can also cape her up B. Uh, this character is just does, doesn't have a lot of options for Mario, in my opinion. Pikachu, I also think is winning, but for different reasons. I just think Mario can really outzone a uh, Pikachu with Bear really well. But you also, but you kind of have to play like a ground game. You kind of, you can't really like play in the air versus these characters.
<clears throat> um, next character, Olimar. I just think this is a also winning matchup. Mario can get rid of Pikmin so well with down air, with back air, with up smash, with cape. Uh, Olimar just can't get that that tick damage that. He normally would get against other characters. Um, and Olimar really just has to approach you at that point. Uh, you can bear through a lot of like what. Like let's say if Olimar tries to do like a jump throw throw Pikmin into a fair. Mario Bear will beat the Pikmin and come out in time just to beat out Olimar before he fares. Yeah this matchup is really bad for Olimar. Uh, keeps him in the air. Whistle doesn't really matter because you're just gonna get hit anyways. You're basically getting frame trapped. Same same way as you would if Olimar just up smash or I mean whistled. Wait, no. Oh hold on. Same thing as if Olimar just air dodged. Whistle and air dodge are like completely the same thing. And because Olimar has to whistle out of things to not get hit, it's very like baitable too. Uh, Piranha Plant, I think it's winning. This character is kind of just slow. Doesn't have that much range. Spike Ball is really good, but you can also just cape it. Same thing with Poison Cloud. Uh, this character is also heavy, so very combo food, edge guardable. Just a lot of things that Mario has in this matchup. Uh, Piz, same thing as Dark Pit. I'm not going to put it in there. Pokemon Trainer, I think it's winning. Uh... Can really get in very easy versus all three uh pokemon characters squirtle ivysaur and charizard uh charizard's heavy that's pretty much uh self-explanatory um ivysaur kind of kind of lacks um speed so it's very easy to get into him yeah squirtle's the only thing about it but honestly, back air really like kind of beats him. If you just play whip punish and just landing back air versus this character, you can get a lot. And also just fireball, which is really good for in versus all three of these characters. Uh Pyramithra, I think is losing. I think this character is really broken. And top three in the game, in my opinion, for me. Uh, Mithra just runs you down and it is really hard to like keep up with her uh, Keeps you in the air very well because how fast Mithra is Like if you miss one up air with an air dodge, you're gonna get hit by another one and also <laughs> uh, Mithra can't just stand on one side of the other stage and if you try to approach you're just gonna get You're just gonna she's just gonna run around and if you try to fireball, you're going to get four-sided. And then you're going to get punished. So Mithra has a lot of ways to kind of just invalidate Mario. Um... Pyra is much easier to deal with for sure. Um, she, she's slower. Uh, her moves take a lot more time. Uh, so it's just kind of easier to get in versus her. Uh, obviously off stage, anybody can really edge guard uh, ages very well. Um, you can flood. Uh, pirate side or not pirate side B, uh, Mithra side B. You can drop down from ledge and then back air as you come back. Uh, but other than that, this pretty much all she has, or all Mario has. Um, Richter. Yeah, she really doesn't need Pyra. You can say Mithra the whole game, you'll honestly just be better off. 
Uh, Richter is winning in my opinion. It's just slow. His moves, his back air takes a lot of time. Uh, Flood, it's just works so well in this matchup because uh, he just wants to back air and forward air space you. And if you just flood him, he's put in a whole new position. He's all the way up in the air. And now he has to come to you. And his disadvantage is really bad. Um, Ludo. Bro, I'm cooking with this matchup chart. Um, his projectiles are getting caped. Both axe, side B, and down B. Um, if you shield the down B, you can grab it if you just jump. And then you now have the, his fucking, what's called the potion. Uh, off stage sucks. You can soft linger hit Nair, um, uh, versus this character. And that pretty much destroys him. Ridley, I think, is winning. Uh, a big character. Uh, doesn't have a lot to really, like, get Mario off him. Uh, the only thing that's really good in this matchup, I will say, is F Tilt. Both, uh, like, getting two frame with it and then just has the spacing tool. That's pretty much it. You can fireball him a lot. Um, but not like into him. I think if you fireball into him, you just get up smashed and that's bad. Yeah, it's definitely not a destroying matchup for Mario, but Mario has a lot of tools to kind of just straight up just be Ridley. Rob. This is, it's 100% a winning matchup. I think a lot of people just suck versus Rob, including myself. I think I suck versus Rob. Um, Mario kind of, Rob can't really do anything to get Mario off him. Aside from, uh, I guess with Gyro, that, but that's like, that gets caped. Or if you get like a weird hitbox, then like the Gyro will get hit by the cape. But it won't like completely like reflect it into your favor. Yeah, Rob is just big. You can, as long as you're not holding completely holding forward, because Rob can still like outzone you very well. But yeah, th this character is combo food, um, edge guardable too. But as long as you're not getting cheese, then I think. Mario does really well. Robin is just a bad character in my opinion. Uh, you can really just run her down. And she can't really, she can't really do a lot. Rosa? <laughs> Hold on, no, no. Oh, one, one second. I need to add a tier list. Or a tier. <laughs> this this character is so stupid luma is broken i actually do not understand how to play it versus this character like and theoretically i don't think mar should do should be losing to this character but the way the buzz plays Makes it so much difficult. Like, the buzz just out or l l let me stop saying the buzz because that was a meme. Rosie kind of just outspaces you or like not outspaces you, but out zones you very well with Luma and just Luma alone. And then once you lose Luma to like let's say back throw or up smash or back air, then it's just you you're getting circle camped. Yeah, hold on. Let me not put it below losing. Let me just put it right here. This is the buzz tier.
Uh, I think Roy's went in. Uh, he's fast. Uh, good, really good frame data. But Mario, I think, has a lot of tools to just get Roy off him. Uh, I'll be out of shield works really well. Um, I think the only thing that the only reason why Roy doesn't win this matchup is because how bad this advantage is for him. Like Roy really has to run into you. But against a Mario who doesn't really know how to play the matchup, I would say Roy kind of just can kind of just run him down. No, I don't think I think Roy is a really good character. I just think Mario has tools like like fireball, uh, like like juggling really well. You can edge guard him really well. Um, his shield pressure is. Versus Mario is not the greatest because Mario has so many out of shield options. To the point where like this character or Roy has to play a just a baiting game. Alright, we're almost we're actually almost done with the tier list. Um, before we finish this tier list though, if you guys haven't voted for me yet, I would really appreciate it. Um, you know, we're, I'm almost, we're close, but we need all the support that we can get because I really want to get in. Um, wow, yeah, man. Let's fucking do this shit. Also, we are not far off from our next incentive, which is our cooking stream. We're only like a hundred or so votes away from making it in there. <clears throat> so if you guys want to see me cook for the first time, you know, feel free to vote for me, man. But Let's finish this tier list. Um, Ryu, I think is winning as well. Um, this is kind of like Ken in a way. Where his disadvantage kind of just sucks. Like, let's say if Ryu wanted to come down with a down B. Yeah, I know. I think Ryu does a lot better than Ken in this matchup, for sure. Um. However, it's kind of the same thing where Mario can just keep Ryu out of disadvantage a lot. Like, like juggling this character. If he tries to come down with a down B, that's a free down air for Mario every time. It might not kill because of how stale it might be, but you kind of just put you put him back in disadvantage, and then therefore it's a risk and repeat option. Did you play Osimo? No, I did not. I want you though. Osimo is really good player. Yeah, I get Duck Hunt even. Okay, can you explain to me why Duck Hunt, or why I should put Duck Hunt even? And then maybe I'll get convinced. Uh, Samus, I think this is an even-ish matchup. Uh, <laughs> trying to get him versus this character is not the hardest, but Samus is very annoying with what he does. Like Samus just doesn't have to approach. Um, can kind of just 
stand still the whole entire game and not really care. Samus has upbeat out of shield versus literally anything Mario does. Even if Mario doesn't even throw out a move and Samus upbeat has a shield, it's still hard to track Samus because of how fucking fast he she can fast fall. Um, Sephiroth. I think Mario loses to Sephiroth. Um, I think, actually no, I changed my mind. I think it's an even matchup. Um, <clears throat> Mario doesn't struggle as much as you would think. Mario's really fast on the ground, in my opinion. And as long as you're not holding forward, then you'll honestly be fine. If you have flood charge up as well. Like you don't, you don't have to hold forward versus this character. And if you do, you pretty much ask him to lose. Uh, you kind of have to play around in a range where back air won't hit you. You kind of want to like run up shield. The only problem with that is if you get down smashed then you're fucked. Why do you hate me? I'm confused. <clears throat> do you find yourself pairing against them a necessity? Um. Yes. If you... If you do plan on running up shielding, then you have to be ready to parry almost anything. Um, Sephiroth's light. So if you get touched by Mario, then you're kind of just dead at like a percent where someone like... Someone like Samus would even die. Like Sephiroth is so light. If I were to choose about Mario Joker for winning, I think Mario would win. Yeah, I just think at a top level, if both players are playing right, it's an even matchup. Uh, Sheik, I think it's winning. Mario has, or Sheik is just one of those characters that kind of has to run into you. And with how fast and strong Mario's bear is, it's just really good. And Mario wins every trade. That's a good comment. If you, if they both start trading with each other, Mario will win the trade every time. And Sheik is light, uh, combo food as well, in, in a way. Um, but yeah, overall, just. Yeah, I agree. Better hitboxes. Shulk. <laughs> one of his worst matchups for sure. Um, playing versus his character is really annoying. Uh, back hit with Nair just destroys you. Just that move alone. And that's not even counting like all the, the fair spacing from Shulk. The back air. Um, Minato Arts. Shield is broken, except you can actually you use um Shulk shield art and to your advantage because then you could just start like triple down airing people, and then you can like you're basically stuck. Uh, Smash R is ridiculous. If you're a ledge versus Smash R Shulk, good luck getting off that ledge or good luck getting out of there alive. Yeah, you just get zoned out really well. Snake, I think is an even matchup. In my opinion. Uh, 
Um, I think Snake's Crouch is really good in this matchup, especially if you have Grenade like right in front of you. Down tilt is really good uh, if Mario is like, running in on the ground. Uh, trying to hit him when he goes light, when he goes high with up B, is just kind of difficult. You can flood him off, um, or you can catch his drift, but that's just a guessing game at that point. Uh, if he goes low, it's a free. It's free every time. You can fair it. You can jump off back air it. But most of the time, just it, they just go high anyways. Um, but yeah, and capes not the most useful thing, but it does help in certain situations. Like you can uh, cape Nikita back when uh, you're off stage. Um, but that's a timing thing actually, because if you like mistime it, you'll be able to like get a hitbox with cape on Nikita, but it'll still hit you. So that is just kind of like timing. You can't cape C4. Actually, no, I don't think you can. But but there's not really a reason to anyway. So like, why would you do it? Like you're just better off just running away from C4. Um, Sonic, I think is losing. Um, Pedro just runs away. Um, doesn't really doesn't really lose a lot of matchups, but against Mario, it's tricky because you can you have to play Sonic scam, and that's what Sonic wants you to do because you can't just like straight up run into Sonic. And try to hit him with the hitbox because he's invincible as well. So you really just have to play the long game and just wait for Sonic to mess up. Sora, I think Mario beat Sora. Uh, the character doesn't have a lot besides like Edge Guardian, but Sora can edge guard everyone. Uh, his counter is really good against Mario. Uh, Thunder is okay if you time it right, and Mario doesn't have a jump. Um, if Sora tries to narrow on your shield, you can just up out of it, and you can also up smash out of it. Um, back is really good versus this character. Um, especially just with punishing Sora and just in general. Do I feel Sora slept on? I think Sora is better than what people think. So yeah. However, I wouldn't put him in like a top ten. Like, I wouldn't call him top 10. Steve. <laughs> this is also a bad matchup. I don't know what it is with me, but I beat every Steve that's not Akola. But I just think because Akola plays it the best way possible. And that is just mining behind a wall and timing you out. <laughs> yeah, no, let me let me give him an own tier actually. Let me just put Steve. And then Steve has his own tier. Um you have to run into him. If you don't have a lead, you have to run into Steve.
Um, so the way the matchup works, if let's say on like PS2 or small battlefield, uh, Steve can put two or three blocks right under a a PS2 or a small battlefield platform, hide on the other side of it, and Mario can't do anything but try to break the block, break the blocks. But when he does, Steve will already have or preemptively run two or three more blocks right next to those blocks. And you can't jump over it because if you try to jump over it, you'll land on the platform. And then you just get up smashed. Or up aired or anything. It's imagination at that point. Uh you can't it's really hard trying to trade with my cart. It's there's really no point. Dealing with my cart into Anvil. You can keep the Anvil. That's a plus that Mario actually has. If you expect the Anvil, you can just keep it. And then he dies hella early to it. Terry, I think, is an even matchup, in my opinion. I think he does the second best compared to Kazuya. Terry has a lot of good uh, anti-air options and can really just um, box with Mario just as well as Mario boxes with Terry. No, nah, I, don't, I don't think he does the worst. My three best matchups in the game, like personally. Because so, I think personally, my best matchups are Olimar, uh, Palutena, and and Joker. I think I'm really good in Joker. Yeah, no, Terry just has way better options than uh, both Ryu and Ken, in my opinion. I think that's why he's a tier, he's in this tier. Uh, Toon Link, I think it's just winning. I think he beats all the links, so I'm just gonna put Young Link here as well. Um, You can utilize Cape really well versus both these characters. And just playing in like mid range and just waiting for those characters to come into you and it's just free back every time. But yeah, all the links just kind of struggle. Wario, I would say is even. Um, both characters, you kind of just explode one another. Um, basically, once Mario's in, he has a lot to... um. Basically punish him. Mario, Wario in disadvantage, kinda just has either near at early percent or just air dodge. What is this? Not really good in the online matchup. Honestly, I didn't think I was that good either. Until I just, I stopped letting Youngly play his game and just made him come to me. Like that's how I played, I played Kobe at uh, Cirque uh, last week. And I just stayed in center stage the entire time with Flood Charge. And just started throwing fireballs and then caving his projectiles. And it was just a rinse and repeat until I found it either, I found an opening to something he did. That I could punish easily, or he just ran into me. Right, we fit, I think, is winning. Uh, this character in disadvantage really sucks. You can keep her in the air a, a lot. Um, her header, when like if she grabs ledge and she headers you, like that header cancel she does, you can actually up you out of shield every time. So it doesn't really work. Uh, you can S smash her up B, you can down tilt it. Uh, you can reflect just header in general. Um, it's just a really tough time for Wii Fit. Wolf, I think it's an even matchup as well. 
um both these characters have really good options for each other um nair is nair in the air is really broken for mario or wolf uh you get juggled pretty easily as mario or like wolf against mario marge gets juggled um nair off stage the soft hit it's broken trades with up b but still you just lose anyways however mario can just box with wolf as well and i think that's why it's even uh recovery is kind of the same thing you can also just soft hit him as well and he kind of just dies or soft hit near him you can cape his laser uh, it's a really good option because his laser is really good Mars one wolf's match worst matchups i don't think it's that bad uh yoshi Yoshi's a weird one I'm gonna say it's even Yoshi of course does not have to run into Mario uh trying to catch him in the air is really hard because how how fast his air drift is Honestly, okay, I'm going to go back real quick. I can see Wolf just losing to Mario straight up. I'm going to leave him right there. And if I change my mind, I'll go back to it later. Um, we have Mar Yoshi has really good spacing tools against um, Mario, in my opinion. Mario can easily catch up to Yoshi, though. But I think Yoshi just doesn't have to play Mario's game. And I just think it's a really back and forth matchup. Oh yeah, for sure. Mario Yoshi is a fun matchup. Zelda is winning, in my opinion. Um, one thing she does have is Knight and Neutral B. Neutral B, she can just use it out of pretty much combos until they're just straight up true. Uh, Knight camping is annoying to deal with, but if you just hit her, Knight goes away. Um, you also just hit her with the fireball straight up, and she it'll go away. Uh, you can cape it. It's kind of hard to cape it though. Um, one thing you can also do is you can try flooding Zelda before she can put Knight out. And that way Knight just straight up is in the air while Zelda has to come back down to you. Bro, I'm not calling it Phantom. Like, it's, it's a Knight. I'm in third again. Let's see. Yo, third place. Once again, guys, we're trying to get in. If you guys want to vote for me, feel free to do so. I'm going to put the link down below. I really appreciate any and all support that comes my way. I really want this badly. And getting in would just be really good. Um, Zero Suit, I think, is... Even. Zerus is really fast. Uh, Zer, side B, kind of annoying to deal with on shield. Um, kind of gets overwhelmed in some ways. And can just run away from Mario really well.
Uh, but Mario <clears throat> can easily hit her with like in the air as well. Uh, when he when she comes down, uh, down air is really good. Uh, back air as well. Fireball is also really good. Except the only thing that she, the only thing that she has is she can run because of how uh, fast she is. She can run and just hit you from below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire tier list. We actually, <laughs> we, we knocked it out in two hours. That's actually pretty sick. Um, if I were to change things like post, post matchup charts, I would actually, I don't know if I would change anything. Do you think Steve? No, I just think Steve is is, is in his own tier. If I had to choose who our worst matchup is, I would say it's Icy's. Yeah, no, I'm cooking a little too much on that one. It, okay, no, realistically though, it's still Shulk or Cloud in my opinion. It's one of these two, for sure. Shulk or Cloud. No, Cloud is ridiculous. But I can see Steve being a humble, like, top three bad matchups. No, I don't think Game Watch is that bad. He's just... He's light. But Cloud overall is not light. Um, Really good spacing. Really good out of shield options. Yeah, I don't have shiny mark. I don't have any like, I don't have slight tiers, but Pika would go in a slight uh, winning, in my opinion. Uh. Yeah, like I said. Uh, really got a shield, uh, huge range, and just fucks Mario up. It's not funny. stubby characters be cloud and neutral yeah no it's really hard like you have to just stand there and wait for your turn but most of the time it's never your turn so like you can't really you don't have a lot of options yeah flood is good versus cloud however trying to punish him from there it's just like you're basically just you're basically just doing that for repositioning like you can't really punish them when you just flood
which player do you think is best versus Mario? It's 100% the buzz. I've never seen anyone knows how to play versus Mario as well as the buzz does. And he's here! Go, go away! <laughs> the, no, Mario does not plus two Rosa. There is no way. Dude, we said the buzz's name three times and he came here. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would make any other changes. I feel like you could get rid of the Steve tier. Sure, man. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for the day you and Wizzy play. I just need to see it. Because it's either Wizzy plays it 10 times better than me, or he feels my pain. But yeah, I guess I can just... I'll move... No, I'm not moving Ninja. I think this is a uh, fine tier list. Oh okay, yeah, I'm going to post this actually. Does your tier list chance if you play with the best characters of those characters and lose? No, my opinions do not change if I lose or win. Yeah, only only a humble twelve losing. That's a very honest mid-tier character, right guys? I am not answering questions. Actually, no. I just won't answer them anyways. Um... Uh... Incentive. What I capitalize incentive. Incentive down. Mario matchup is completed. Please consider voting for me. Really. Appreciate 
And then we're supposed to link. Boom, go gas up the tweet, guys. You know, sorry, Nick. Thank you, man. All right, guys. We're still in third place. We're almost going to hit our cooking stream incentive. You guys want to see me cook for the first time? No, go vote for me. Vote for me there. Links below. We're so close. The cooking stream will be fire, by the way. If we ever reach it, it's going to be fire. Literally, my house will be on fire. Like, there's going to be a fire. And I'm going to have to evacuate. But no, if, if we do hit it, obviously, I'm going to let... You guys choose uh, the dish that I cook. Um, how, and how we'll do that is we'll take three or four different uh, options and we'll put them in a bow or a poll and we'll vote for it. Maybe like for real, for real, never cooked anything? No, I've never cooked an actual dish before. No, not, not even eggs, like, it's, I straight up never cooked before. Bake a cake? Dude. Okay, <laughs> I also want to, I want to hit it. Just so I have a reason to wear this. Can you? <laughs> this would be so lit. And then imagine you like, you just have a, like what, what are those called? Like the things that they wear in like at the kitchen. You know what I'm talking about? Like to prevent their like their shirts from getting dirty. Aprons, yeah, an apron. Like can you just imagine that? Yeah, I know for sure. They're probably hella cheap. You gotta cook one day? Man, vote for me and then we can start cooking. Tinder GSP? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> why are we... <laughs> why are we asking for my Tinder? Like, can we relax? No, we're gonna practice by playing Overcooked. Although I don't have overcooked, so we're not going to practice at all. My friend code? My friend code's confidential, bro. For a solid donation towards my voting, I will give you my friend my friend code personally. Are you doing anything else after the matchup? Now that the matchup is done, um, I was gonna do the guide right now, but I think I'll just save that for its own stream because that might take a while
Oh, also, round one of voting ends tomorrow. So we definitely need all the help we can get. Is it top two to win round one? No, it's just the first, the top one. people can get voted in uh it's three votings overall but the first person gets voted in tomorrow and so on and so forth All right, link the song. Let, let's hear it. Let's live react to the song. And if it's not good, you're getting banned. Can you guys hear this? Alright, I think I've heard enough. I think you might be getting banned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It... It... <laughs> you didn't cook with that for sure. You didn't have to go back into the kitchen with that one. You gotta redeem yourself. Honestly. Alright, redemption song. This is your time. All right, this is a redemption song, and it's another Xenoblade song. I've heard enough. This was, this is literally the same song they used for the Aegis reveal. I did not need to hear it. 
I knew off the bat what it was. 